I was on my Harley Davidson motorbike, driving 26, 28 mile an hour. Lovely sunny day, beautiful weather, and then I just remember this car that was parked on the near side turning straight into me. I remember my motorbike, I braked, but I remember just hitting the car side on and going straight over the roof of it. After the crash, I was on the road. I was in a very bad way. I had uh, six broken ribs, I had uh, punctured lungs, I had nine broken bones, feet was back to front. I was just a total mess. And I was sitting there, couldn't breathe, and I was thinking, I'm going to die, this is it. There's, there's no one here to help me. It was terrifying, more than terrifying, it's like you're thinking of your family, everything that's going through your mind within seconds, you think I'm not going to survive. And then to see them paramedics and doctors running towards you in the red uniforms, I just knew straight away where they were from, and it was just such a sign of relief. I just remember getting my ankle so it was in a comfortable position, getting me breathing again by putting the tubes into my lungs. I remember on my shoulder and my, my arm was smashed to bits. I remember him putting that in an area where it wasn't being painful. All along, I just remember him keep saying to me, Steve, you're going to be all right, Steve, you're going to be all right. And I must have heard that a hundred times between the scene and getting into the helicopter. It was just superb care that I got off him. I've just met Andy for the first time and what a lovely man. He remembers the accident fully, he remembers attending the scene and you know just to be able to say in person he was there when I needed you and you did it for me. When we respond to an incident and we get a good outcome from it I feel emotional. I sometimes put myself in the place of that individual or that family um, but I like to think that on behalf of the North West Air Ambulance we've delivered the best possible care and achieved that best outcome that we can do. Without that helicopter, the North West Air Ambulance Charity, I wouldn't be here today. It's vital that everyone gives as much as they can to keep that helicopter in the air, because you never know when you're going to need it, and I needed it, and it was there. I'd like to say to the paramedics, the doctors, and even the pilot of the North West Air Ambulance, that especially saved my life, a big thank you. I've seen my kids growing up now, I've seen things I wouldn't have seen, and all I can say is a big thank you from me and my family.